Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Sarah. Today I'm going to be doing another Cheap Girls Guide to, and we're talking about our nails today. I'm going to show you how I cut back and do my own nails at home. I give myself a gel manicure. It lasts for about a week and it makes my polish look really, really nice. I'm going to go through all of the steps of how I do my manicure, so if you guys want to see, then just so keep step watching. Step one for me for an at-home gel manicure is to soak my nails. In warm water and a little bit of soap, I sit there for probably 10 or 15 minutes. I only do this every one to two weeks. I don't always do it. I paint my nails much more often, but when I want to really give myself a good manicure, I'll sit and let my cuticles soak. On my nails, I'm going to be putting a mixture of black castor oil and tea tree oil just to soften up my cuticles and give them a little bit of hydration and they're, so they're not all crusty. And when I'm pushing them back, it makes it a lot easier for the cuticles to be moved. So I'm using this tool to push back my cuticles. I'm not even sure if this is the right tool, but it works really well and I like it. It's easy to use. If you have cuticle clippers, like the little tiny scissors, use them after you do this step. I could not find mine, but I highly suggest picking some up. I got mine from the Dollar Tree and they work so well and they get all of those little dry bits off of your nails. If you're trying to give yourself a good at-home manicure, I highly suggest pushing back your cuticles because this is going to allow you more space to paint your nails and just make it so much easier. After I'm done doing that, it's now time to file my nails. I like my nails to be pretty short, I don't do anything fancy, I just go around the edges to make sure that they're all basically the same shape and about the same size. Next step is really important if you want to get your gel manicure to last. It's important to buff the top of your nails. I'm doing it with my nail file, you could use a buffer if you want to, but you want to create some type of friction on the top of your nail bed so that the gel polish adheres to your nail even better. If you skip this step, good chances the polish is going to peel, so just make sure that you're buffing the top of your nails really well. You could use a coarse buffer if you want to, but the nail file works just as well. So once you're done buffing your nails, you're going to want to wipe off both of your hands so that all of that nail dust gets off of your nails and doesn't get in the gel manicure. We're going to be using the American Classic Jealous Advanced Gel Nail Coat. This is what's going to make your nail polish last. I start with one very thin coat of this first. It's important that the coats are thin. You want to make sure you're wiping off both sides of the brush and just using the tiniest amount. You want to build up the thickness of the polish, so you don't want to do just one big thick coat. You want to do a couple thin layers of this. And this is what makes it last for a really long time, like up to a week, maybe a week and a half. So if you would like to use a base coat before doing this step, you can do that. I've done that in the past and it worked just fine. You would do the base coat first and then your first layer of the jealous. So now we're moving on to the other hand. We're doing the same process of thin coats on that hand while the hand that we just did is drying. The drying process for this is pretty quick because the layers are so thin, so you want to wait maybe three to five minutes so that it's somewhat tacky, not completely dry, but almost dry, and then we're going to apply our nail polish. When it comes to nail polish, I'm using this paparazzi polish that I got from CVS, but I really recommend the Sinful Color brand. So when I paint my nails, I like to start in the middle and then work my way out and I don't use a whole lot of product. You can see that I don't really get close to my cuticle as well. I try really hard not to get the nail polish there and then I'm just dragging the color down to the tip. Um, I, yeah, I feel like I paint my nails pretty well. I don't get super messy with it because I try to do thin, thin coats and starting in the middle and working my way out. From prior experience, I definitely feel like the more expensive nail polishes don't hold up on top of the Jealous top coat, so I highly suggest using a really cheap nail polish. I really recommend the Simple Colors. I've used them for years, like literally years, and they always hold up when I use the Jealous with them. When I mess up, I just go with my little finger and I just go around the edge. I try to clean it up right away so that it doesn't dry to my finger, and then I'm sitting there trying to wash my hands and wash it off. So now we're going to do the same steps to the other hand, just doing thin layers of our nail polish. I will have the name of this nail polish in the description box below. Once this hand is dry, maybe three to five minutes, kind of tacky, we're going to do another layer of the Jealous. Again, just doing thin coats of the Jealous. That's two coats of Jealous and one coat of nail polish. This is what makes it super thick and a gel-like manicure. So after you do the coat of Jealous, if you wanted to put another coat of nail polish over top, you totally could do that and you would be fine. Once you do that and you let it dry for a bit, it's time to move on to a top coat. 
I highly recommend this Sedge Feet. It makes your nails really hard and it just works the best. I'm going to be doing a thin, thin coat of that. It's super important that it's thin. I find that this really helps to harden the nail polish and it makes it dry instantly. So if you're a mom and you're trying to paint your nails with kids, this is like the number one necessity that you need because it's really no waiting time. It does harden so it can kind of like smudge if you're using your hands right away, but it's literally instant drying so it's a mom necessity. So this is how they looked when they're all finished and this is one of the ways that I save money by cutting back on getting gel manicures. I do my own, I find it super therapeutic to paint my nails, I just love painting my nails, but I also love when the polish stays and it doesn't chip and this is one of the ways. So check it out, all the links to all the products that I mentioned will be in the description box below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you see that subscribe button right there, click that button to join our YouTube family. I love you very much and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.